The roots of Clan Straton trace back to the medieval era when Scotland was a land of kings and barons. The Straton family, believed to have received their lands in Straton, Midlothian, from none other than King David I. These lands, nestled on the outskirts of Edinburgh, became the heart of the clan's holdings and its connection to Scottish nobility. The Straton clan was not merely landowners, they were deeply involved in the affairs of the realm. In the inquest on the succession of Sir Alexander Fraser of Phileth to his grandfather's estates, Alexander Straton of that ilk and Andrew Straton of Craig played significant roles. This highlights their influence and standing in the Scottish nobility. The Ragman Roll of 1296 recorded the name Thomas de Stratton, hailing from the Shire of Edinburgh. This was a tumultuous period in Scotland's history, marked by English influence and resistance. The Straton name also appears in the historic declaration of Arbroath in 1320, with Alexander de Stratton as a signatory. The declaration asserted Scotland's independence and remains a symbol of the nation's spirit. The Straton clan's close ties to royalty are evident in their charters and documents. Alexander de Straton was described as of our blood in a charter granted by King David II. John de Straton, Dominus e Justum, of that ilk, witnessed charters, underlining the family's continued influence and loyalty. In 1411, Alexander Straton of Lauriston met his fate at the Battle of Harlaw, one of Scotland's defining conflicts. This sacrifice underscores the clan's commitment to defending their homeland. The Straton family's influence extended beyond Midlothian. They held lands in Aberdeenshire and near Inverness, showcasing their widespread presence across Scotland. Christina de Stratton granted a charter in 1451 in favour of the Friars Preachers in Aberdeen, highlighting the family's benevolence and involvement in local affairs. The history of Clan Straton is a testament to the enduring spirit of Scottish clans. Their journey from the royal grants of land to involvement in pivotal historical events and charters paints a vivid picture of their legacy. The Straton name lives on, reminding us of the rich tapestry of Scotland's past.